Dr. CB is an unlicensed physician who became famous in the 1980s by claiming he could cure AIDS using herbal medicine and plant-based diets. He died in 2016 due to complications of pneumonia that worsened while he was in prison on money laundering charges. Prior to his passing, patients were paying $500 per visit and he was claiming to cure not only AIDS, but herpes, leukemia, lupus, and anemia. He was actually taken to court for practicing medicine without a license, but declared not guilty. Dr. CB has built quite a following on this vegan way of eating, coining it the Dr. CB diet, which focuses on removing acidic foods and consuming alkaline foods by restricting man-made foods as well as modern hybrids, except for his $1,000 supplement packages. Uh, apparently, those are okay. The mucus-reducing alkaline diet involves eating from a proprietary nutritional guide and food list that is based on over 40 years of research identifying non-hybrid alkaline foods. Naturally, most people lose weight when eating according to this plant-based alkaline diet because they are eliminating waste, meat, dairy, and processed foods from their diet. Oftentimes, people combine herbs and herbal compounds with the diet too to help with cleansing, healing, and or overall well-being. In these cases, they usually consult with a doctor or healthcare professional. To give him credit, he does sell supplements that contain iodine for thyroid health, so he's not completely out there as iodine is necessary for thyroid function, but if we actually hear what he has to say, things become a bit wacky. I have been struggling with weight since 1964. I was 291 pounds. Now, I only weigh 120, and I'm 6'2". I wanted to know what it would be like to be on the other side of being big. And I want to see the benefits of it, because I've been told that there is such thing as the standard weight for height measure. Yeah. But we cannot live by those measures. Those You're six two and 120. That's all I weigh, 120 pounds. And trust me, I haven't felt this good in my whole entire life. What I did in the last six months, approximately eight months ago, I stopped eating for six to four days. But I made a mistake. I made a mistake because I had a speech to do in Philadelphia. And by not eating for those 64 days, I was going for 90 days. But I remembered I had a speech to do in Philadelphia. So when I went to do the speech, I fainted. I had to faint because I was talking too long and I was not eating for 64 days. Yeah. What, what I've done was to discontinue anything that had glucose. Glucose is the underlying enemy. Whenever you indulge in glucose, it would be difficult to lose fat. Mm -hmm. Is that why nearly every cell in the body uses glucose for energy? The man is 120 pounds at six foot two, has clearly been depriving himself of both calories and nutrition, and He's literally knocking on death's door right here. This was filmed in 2015, and he passed away the next year. This diet could have easily compromised his immune system, uh, leading him to be susceptible to things like pneumonia. You'd be surprised what water does. You see, water, I learned the uses of water in Ecuador. The people of Vilcabamba, their diet is 78% water, 22% solid uh -huh. because the body doesn't need that solid food it needs fuel and the fuel comes oxygen and water let me ask you you said the ph yes in your village where the thermal water is yes. is 9.8 9.8 and that is compared to what would be in the american water system here any idea well 9.8 is a very high level pH is hydrogen ion concentration, a high level of pH and show that you have the amount of oxygen that the body needs, also the minerals.
It's kind of crazy how he looks like he's wasting away, yet convincing people that oxygen and water are what they need to thrive. I was in fact crazy. I was placed in an insane asylum in New Jersey in 1961. Schizophrenia and paranoia. So I'm schizophrenic, paranoia, I'm impotent, I'm diabetic, I'm asthmatic from birth. I don't think I'm the only person that wouldn't take advice from someone who was in a mental hospital from schizophrenia and paranoia, but you know, people are so desperate for fixing their health. You know, when someone comes around and sounds mildly convincing and is some sort of authoritative figure, whether it's their age, their educational credentials, whatever it may be, people get their hopes up. One other thing he mentioned was that he worked with Michael Jackson in 2004 for a period of a few months. Um, assuming things didn't actually work out, I mean, he was able to convince a celebrity that he has some sort of secret health knowledge that I guess he couldn't deliver on. The guy literally looks like he's dying, yet he's talking about healing. Sunken eyes, face discoloration, lying in bed. Now, is there any merit to this diet? Consuming his recommended food list is actually better than a lot of standard American diets. Our modern diets are so high in refined foods, vegetable oils, sugar. They're causing us to gain weight, massive amounts of inflammation. By removing these negative foods, you will feel better, but you'll be depriving yourself of caloric and micronutrient nutrition. There are vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids that are only contained in animal foods that you won't be getting on this diet. So you might be alleviating some larger issues, but you'll develop micronutrient deficiencies in the long run. The alkaline versus acidic thing is complete nonsense as the stomach will always try to maintain its acidic pH and the blood will maintain a slightly alkaline pH. Altering these natural physiological functions would actually be harmful to your health. Also, it's a bit hypocritical that these diets include sugar as sugar is very acidic even if it's in the form of fruit. Some of you might have remembered that I did a video on Steve Jobs a few months ago explaining how his belief in a similar diet might have led to his demise. Uh, these alkaline mucusless diet healing systems originate from a book that was written in 1922, Professor Arnold Eretz's Mucusless Diet Healing System. I am led to believe that a lot of information Dr. CB is pushing originates from this writing. That book gives advice such as putting sugar in your breast milk, claiming that women losing their period is the purification of the body capable of the immaculate conception. But you know what's even more crazy? This ties to the Seventh-day Adventist church. The Seventh-day Adventist church is something I've spoken about in past videos as they have religious beliefs of following this plant-based vegan way of eating. Their influence has ranged from Kellogg cereal to recent anti-egg propaganda. Arnold Eret was a naturmenschen, a German word for natural men and women who eschewed meat and embraced free love, uh, kind of like the original hippies to my understanding. I did find a video where Dr. Sebi mentioned this. Gluten. I remember when I was a Seventh-day Adventist. Mm -hmm. And the Seventh-day Adventist specializes in gluten. So maybe he found out all of this information in the church and thought he could run with it, making money for himself. It's almost unbelievable how all of this vegan plant-based nonsense ties back to the same things and people. Everyone is either brainwashed into false beliefs or indoctrinated into a religious cult. And hey, maybe when I'm old and I look like I'm dying and I talk with some wisdom, uh, people will start taking my advice seriously. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and of course, share the video. If you guys would like to support me further, just check out some of the other videos on my channel. Recently, I have launched Frankie's Free Range Meat, my goal being to provide you guys with high-quality, nutrient-dense animal foods at an affordable price. We'll be shipping out our first orders within the next two weeks, ladies and gentlemen. So if you would like to get in that first round of orders, please... 
do so before Wednesday of this week. After that, uh, you will be placing an order for the next month. So guys, by the 4th of June, please place your order with frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We have grass-fed beef, a bunch of organ meats, uh, some very affordable caviar. In the future, we are looking to do things like raw dairy, uh, can our own fish, some really delicious products even for kids. So if you guys would like to support that vision or just learn more about it, again, frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You guys enjoy your week.